spring primary in our campaign 2012 coverage tonight. Voting will be in session Tuesday in Dane County. And on the docket, narrowing down the field of candidates in a judicial race. News 3's David Douglas introduces us to the men and women vying to wear the black robe, David. And there will be two judicial races on Tuesday, Maria, but in one, the incumbent is running unopposed. So in tonight at issue, helping viewers reach a verdict on who they'll side with on Tuesday. This is the chair three candidates want to sit in, looking out over justice in Dane County. It's very important that we have judges who are fair. We're seeing how the system works and sometimes how it doesn't work. It's really that Wisconsin citizens are questioning the ethics and integrity of their judges. We met each hopeful this weekend on the campaign trail. Francis Sullivan is currently an assistant attorney general for the state, touting his experience handling litigation particularly medical malpractice suits against UW doctors. So what that gives me the experience of having done is really to be able to go deeply into complex issues. An area Sullivan believes he'll make an impact. The court needs more judges who are in a position to make good decisions for the litigants. Next, we call Roger Allen to the stand. The current Dane County judge and former assistant city attorney in Madison was appointed to the bench by Governor Scott Walker to fill a vacancy, but has the backing of more than a dozen key Democrats. As a former police officer and federal agent, he says he's seen the law from every side. We have a tremendous volume of cases, and a judge has to be good at managing their docket, ensuring that cases are processed in a timely fashion. Allen says substance abuse and family struggles are often the root cause of criminal behavior, and dealing with and treating them are key to preventing crime. You can rehabilitate a life, and you can do so at a cost that's about 50% of what it would cost to incarcerate that same person. As we head for closing arguments, meet Ellen Burrs, a state public defender and adjunct professor at UW's law school. She agrees case volume is a challenge, as is the current perception of the justice system in Wisconsin. People don't feel that their issues will be dealt with fairly, impartially, and in accordance with the law. Burrs believes she can help reset those ideals, using her experience as an attorney for both the prosecution and the defense to bring about a just outcome. During this rotation, Branch 11 is a criminal law court, which means that most of the cases are criminal cases. The two top winners advance to the April 3rd general election. Polls open at 7 on Tuesday morning. Happy voting. Absolutely. Thanks so much, David, for that preview.